Okay, we're going to put a three prong cord on this electric stove here. So there's a plate on the bottom here. We have to uh, take off. Okay, I'm going to have to go through all these socket sets to find the one that's going to fit. That's always a joy. Is it this one? No. 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 I know it's not that one. We have a lot of them. It's not that one. That one's just a little bit too big. And it's this one. So it's got to be lift out. Take a couple screws out here. Take a couple more off up here. across the bottom, see if we have any screws down here. There we go, we lift it out like that. We'll take this piece out and we will uh, use our pliers here and we'll open up our three quarter inch knockout here. Yeah, I just rock it back and forth like this until it breaks. There it is. OK, 
Okay, so I'll put our three quarter inch Romex connector into the bottom here. And I'll turn it so it's nice and tight, like that there. This is our three-prong cord. I'll take our ties off of it. Okay, we'll put our cord through our Romex connector like this, but I'm not going to tighten it down just yet. Okay, so this side is going to slide in under There's the little notch in here. Maybe you can't tighten the Romex connector until you uh, put it in because the lip doesn't go over it. So I have to take it off. And this goes in like this so that the uh, side that we're using is Enjoy going through all of the uh, uh, socket sets to find it's either too big or too small, but we found the one we need, and we'll put it in the bottom here. Just put our lips back up under here. I want to make sure we're in on both sides here. There we are. Where did I set that bugger down? But you know what? I'm not going to frustrate. I'm not going to frustrate. I will just remain peaceful and praise my Heavenly Father. I have to go through them all again. You just don't get... Okay, it's this orange handle here. Okay, so we'll put one in here. I'll just put this one in up here for right now.
Okay, now we can on the three prong plug. This is live. This is live. 120 between this one and this one. 120 between this one and this one. You have 240 between those two. Go up through our Romex connector here. Okay, we're about where we're going to need it. Now we got to find our nut driver for these. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Sometimes if it's either too big or too small, you know what? If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And you just have to do it the hard way. You just use your pliers. And I did happen to find the one that fits this one. So I'll put one live one on this terminal here. And um, put slide over the terminal like that. Put our nut in here. Tighten it up. Snug. Okay, now we'll put our ground neutral. See the strap between the two? Loosen that up. Now, if this was a four prong cord, there'd be a screw and you put the white there and take the strap out and you put your green wire down here. So you make a little shape like that so you get the connector on there the right way. like that and we'll hook up our final uh, uh, live wire here Now I'll we'll take our Robertson screwdriver and just tighten our Romex connector up here down on the bottom. When they took the stove apart, they bent my plate up a little bit. So our plate goes in like this, and our screw goes up here. 